so time to replace this memory card. <laughs> so, 7.51 in the morning. I don't know, I didn't get my full eight hours of sleep, but I'm okay for some reason. I guess I got enough. <laughs> Oh man, I love my fleet manager. You know, I hear all these guys out here saying how their dispatcher, their fleet manager, their uh, whatever really sucks and all of that, and they're always getting crap and everything. I gotta say, I love my fleet manager. <laughs> he gets stuff done. Okay, yesterday we were talking about getting this load off early. Okay, this is the load I got right now. Might get this off tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, yeah, I can do that. I still have 229 miles to go. So that's about four hours worth. Because there's mostly highway, I-40, and then a little bit of back road. I think it's a US 70, US something. I don't know. I looked it up yesterday. But I got loaded, and I sent him a message. This was before I actually got loaded, so I actually got out at about 5.30 yesterday. So I drove like crazy until like midnight, as you saw on my <laughs> little update. Actually, it was about 11.30 when I stopped. Okay. But anyway, I got there, and he's... Whoops. That's not what I'm looking for. He asked me if I wanted the appointment. I was like, I'm not sure, but we'll see. So, went back, he gets no answer from them, so I, he decides to uh, have me let him know in the morning what happens. And so, this morning, I send him this. Now, I'd rather run a full log than a split log. I mean, if I can do it, I'd rather. Because if I were to run a split log on this load, I only have 4 hours and 56 minutes left to run on yesterday's hours. And that's just about enough time to get there and have maybe a little less than an hour left of drive time. I'd have to get a 2 hour break before heading to my next shipper, I'm pretty certain. Because, well, I don't really know Arkansas all that well, so that doesn't help matters. But I had uh, like 7 hours and 56 minutes on the 14 I think maybe it's 753 because I did have a load check in there but yeah then I'd have to sit there for two hours and wait for my next load anyway so I figure you know what I'm gonna get out of that consignee at the same time anyway I'd rather have the full hours available so I can just drop it off get the next load and get out of there instead of waiting two hours to leave so, he comes back with, let's see, where am I here? He goes and he calls and asks me if I have any time left. I said, yeah, of course, because I'll have a full log. And then he gets me this. Sweet! And I have seven hours of right time left. There you go! <laughs> I gotta say, I have a pretty good relationship with my fleet manager. We we get things done around here. <laughs> it's awesome. But right now, I have at least another hour and a half before my hour is actually reset. Yeah, an hour and 32 minutes before my hour is reset. And then, I'm gonna go get fuel and we're gonna take off. But, there's a subway across the street at the Shell station over there, so I'm gonna do that first. Yeah! I want some Subway. I had Wendy's last night. I had a Wendy's, I had a, what was it? A double, it was like a double quarter something. It was a number two. I don't know. It was good, that was all that mattered. <laughs> and the sad thing is it's cheaper than McDonald's and better. <laughs> like I said, I'm not a big fan of McDonald's anymore. Haven't been for several years now. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna quit taking long clips. I have all this crap to say. And I never say it all in one... I actually do, I say it all in one go. <laughs> That's the problem. I do say it all in one go instead of splitting it up. It's probably a good thing anyway, because fewer clips means less memory hog on the computer. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. I might even start the computer and do a little bit of video editing before I take off. I have the time. What the heck? <laughs> but... 
first, I think I'm going to find a better parking spot since actually everything's opened up now. Ah, I think there's one right there. I'm going to do it. Bye. Well, hell, I didn't even see the Waffle House when I got in last night. Shoot, I'm doing that. Well, if you can read my insanely bad writing, check it out. Columbia Forest Products. Columbia Forest, Forest Products. Truman Airs. Okay, I'll bet that shit. Okay, so you, if you can read my incredibly bad writing. You got Columbia Forest Products and Old Fart NC to Columbia Forest Products in Truman, Arkansas. Well, here's my next load. Truman, Arkansas. I'm picking it up right here. My deck is unloaded. And yeah, it's three o'clock. Sweet. I can handle liking that. No bounce at all. No out of route on the bounce. And I only smashed it with 1.73% getting here. Yeah, I like it. In fact, I love it. This is awesome. This week is just going amazingly well. Get out of my truck. Amazingly well. Uh, according to him, my, my dispatcher, fleet manager, Randy, whatever you want to say, I put 5,100 to the truck this week. Well, let's count it up. 1934, 751, 712, 902, 884. I kicked some serious sack this week. <laughs> Dang! And then we'll get the weekend load over and well this is going to Fort Worth so probably right around that area pick up some insulation out of either uh, uh, Terrell or, 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 or Corsicana or Shingles out of Irving or Home Depot load out of uh, Great Grand Prairie I think it is Grand Prairie whatever it doesn't even matter I'm good <laughs> Uh, so 492 miles I'm gonna need about nine hours cuz you think I'm just coming up off I-40 I-40 back down there hit I-30 jump it down all the way into Fort Worth yes my GPS is giving me only 491 to go yeah <laughs> okay then we can do that we're gonna do that. <sighs> if the heat ever cools off, that'd be nice. The wind has been shoving me in the face, so let's see if my MPG has remained at 618. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm not believing this. <laughs> that is too good. Anyway, it is 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I've got so much time. Home. Well, messaging. Home. Messaging. You have 7 hours and 12 minutes. Shut up. That's what I got. It's going to take me about that hour and 12 minutes I've got as a cushion for my 17, or 14 rather, 17. I don't know where I got 17 from. My 14 hour clock to kick in. That'll probably be done. Well, i got to start getting loaded first. But then I got a strap and tarp it and everything, and that'll probably take that hour and 12 minutes and destroy it, so. <laughs> I'm probably not going to get there to, well, I'm definitely not going to get there tonight. It's 712. Or 7 hours and 12 minutes could get me a maximum of 432 miles at 60 miles an hour straight. It's not going to happen. So, yeah. Now I've done another four and a half minute clip, so we're going to get off of here and just say... Goodbye until later. Turn off, 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 Steve. We got lightning. And no, it ain't that flashing pole right there. <laughs> it is 4.50 in the evening. 6.36 remaining on my clock. 4.91 miles. We are out of here. And there it goes again. Freaking lightning. It's going off when I can't see it. Do it again. I dare you. You watch. As soon as I turn the camera off, it's not gonna. It's gonna like shoot a huge bolt out of the sky. <laughs> That'd be my life. All right, we got GoPro on it now. <sighs> Whoa!
lightning just keeps on coming, making me not want to leave, but I need to leave because I only have 6 hours and 30 minutes left on my clock and I have to go. good stuff is done so I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down we got some good ones I think I obviously won't know that until after I get the footage onto the computer but at least I can say I tried right <laughs> oh, I love lightning yay for Lowe's <laughs> that's where I'm parking for tonight and it's a late night. Mm. Yep. And I only got seven minutes left to drive. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, I pretty much used up my hours as much as I could today. Look at that, 562 miles today. That ain't bad. Anyway, yeah, I have 148 miles to go in the morning, which means I should get there if I start at about 9.16, which I will be able to do 9.16 in the morning. If I were to start at 9.16 in the morning, I could probably get there by about noon, because I'm going to be shooting through Dallas, and you know how everything slows down in Dallas. Yeah, but it's been pretty good most of the way here, so... Oh, I made a stop in uh, Benton, Arkansas, and got some Subway, and... Yeah, I'm gonna save that for tomorrow morning. I already had half of it for dinner, and... I'm pretty tired. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm pretty tired. It's in gear right now. There we go. Alright, it's time for bed. I'm gonna eat transflow these papers I've got. Actually, I don't even think I've filled it out yet. That's not the right one. That's tomorrow's. This one! There we go. Yeah, I haven't even bothered to fill it out yet, so I need to do that, and then I need to e transflow it using my phone because it's awesome like that. Ah! But that is the end of today, so. Good night.